Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. As you can see here, we've got a very um, awesome looking and, um, oh yeah, just kidding, it's a generic box. Um, this is Chase Elliott's Kelly Blue Book Charlotte Wynn Standard. I haven't even taken it out of the box, so we're doing a review slash reaction on this one because I haven't seen it yet. So, first things first, I've got to make sure I've got my screwdriver here so I can get it off the base. And then... Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look. So these sleeve boxes, I always save these. They're good for shipping if I ever am selling cars, which I'm going to have some coming here soon in the next week. All right. Still can't see it. It's still all sealed up. So I'll seal this box up. And it's going to find its way probably to somebody on eBay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our box. So we've got a quantity of 994. A ton of them are made. Uh, look in the left side, you can see there's our number 9, Cup Series, and the Honor R... What does that say? Honor and Remember, that's what it says. And then uh, we got Elite. Got the Elite thing there. Uh, got 20 over here. And that's kind of it. Alright, let's go ahead and pop it open. Alright, so now that it's out, um, I think... There's two more cards left in the box. Um, this is the Lionel Garage. I haven't used it. I'm not going to lie. If I had to register all my DIN numbers on Lionel Garage, it would take me days. And that doesn't mean I won't do it because I would like to do it and make it public. But I got to make sure everyone can see it because, frankly, it doesn't make any sense for me to put them all on Lionel if only I could see it. Because I can see my collection every day. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, and then a Lionel return certificate thing. All right. Here's the things on top. We have a little bit of a bend in this card. Certificate of Authenticity, saying it's a standard finish elite. Can it's in, This card is uh, interchangeable with any um, elite card from 2018 to now. Kind of stupid, my opinion. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, winner card. Chase Elliott, All School Uniforms 500 kilometers winner. Uh, 312 miles. He, uh, number of cautions, 7 for 37 laps. He led 28 laps and won by 2.2 seconds. Uh, started 19th. And time of the race would have been 2 hours, 29 minutes, and 23 seconds. May 27th, 2020. This was a Thursday night race because of a rain out. And, um, well, well, I yawn because it's middle of the night. Well, costume. Um, this was the first race after the Coke 600 where... He got out front, was dominating, looked like he had it in the bag, and William Byron brings out a caution literally with three or two laps to go. And then on the restart, he pits, everyone else doesn't, and he doesn't end up winning the race. Um, needless to say, now that we know he's the champion, um, and you know, obviously we all know Harvick was the best car all year, we can also look at Chase Elliott and understand that he had a lot of opportunities that were kind of robbed from him. Uh, Darlington was one that he probably could have won that race, but he got dumped. Uh, not intentionally, but dumped. Uh, here's our winner sticker, by the way. Cup Series winner sticker there. Um, but yeah, so he gets dumped there. Um, you know, Las Vegas had the clear-cut best car, blows a tire. Sorry about that, I gotta pull the, uh, screw over here. But, um, there were a number of races. Um, frankly, even Talladega. If Talladega's going to go into five overtimes, he has enough fuel and he might win that race. So, the point is, there was definitely opportunity for him to win a lot of races. And, frankly, he won just about the bare minimum. I mean, how many races this year did he barely win? You know, he, he dominated every race he won. Like, the Martinsville race, nobody was touching him. Phoenix, nobody was touching him. Uh, Roble, nobody was touching him. Daytona, nobody was touching him. The Charlotte race, nobody was touching him. So the point is, he didn't really luck into any of them. You know, he, he had to pretty much earn all of those wins. Um, so, you know, it's, it's okay that, that, that he has that, but it's just making sure that, you know, as much as I was, I still don't like this playoff system, um, I'm, I'm okay with, I shouldn't say I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm okay with Chase getting the win because he was one of the top four best drivers this year. Still not. Still, Kevin Harvick should have had it, but Let's see here. I'm gonna start on the left front. Now you see all the rubber bead uh, build up there. Hendrick Motorsports. There's our honor and remember on the tire number nine. Um, <clears throat> you can see the uh, the arrow for the jack there. NASCAR race car. Um, is that decal split? 
I think it might be a decal defect. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a decal defect. It is what it is. Can't fix everything. Uh, NASCAR Cup Series, another decal defect over here. Um, good grief. Is that paint missing from the hood? Okay, I'm sending this back. I, uh, okay. There you see it. Two bare spots of metal on the hood. Um, yeah, this needs to go back. Um, I think this is race damage here. Uh, yeah, so that's race damage on there. Uh, you can see the rivets around that rear window. There's our uh, ethanol ring there. Napa, uh, Unifirst, Hooters, and Mountain Dew. A little bit of dirt, uh, not much. Chase Elliott. Kelly Blue Book, Trusted Resource, Valvoline, number nine. You can see the metallic blue kind of thing. Napa Auto Parts, it's kind of a dark navy blue we got going here. Din number is 913. We got Elliott. Um, up here on the roof, we got nine, the big number nine, uh, Kelly Blue Book, and then the roof hatch. We also have three... Um, Camera logos, Chevy Chevy and Kelly Blue Book, NASCAR Cup Series banner. So we do have the roof camera, which is always a cool thing. I, I prefer it. I like it. Um, we do have a fuel cell in the rear here and a camera mounted on the back of the car. Kelly Blue Book, trusted resource again. And then there's our fuel cell in the back there. Um, actually, looks like there's an extra line in there. So I'll have to double check that later. There you can see more rivets on that right side window. Uh, Kelly Blue Book again. Um, honor and remember. A uh, little black spot around the skirt where the tailpipes are at. A uh, little bit of dirt, but not much. Fairly clean. These cars, they keep them really clean as far as not a lot of contingencies on them. Get to the very front of the car. You can see a little tape on the grill there. And then the right front corner is kind of dirtied up. You got 3M and Sunoco there as well. And then we got the Kelly Blue Book official guide on the hood there. And then our 2020 Camaro front end. Um, let's go ahead and pop that front end open and take a look under the hood. Um, good grief, I'm sending this car back. I'll, I'll show you one more thing I just noticed. Um, there you see the uh, the air filter there. We do have valve covers in there as well. Um, underneath the car, we've got uh, number 913, working rear suspension, working front suspension. And I said we've got those tires on each side. Um, yeah, as I said, so on the corners of the hood there, you can see there's some paint missing there. You go over to the right side, there's some paint missing there, um, right up along the hood. So I don't, I don't know what, what, I don't, I, mm. um, it is cool. You got this metallic blue kind of finish. It looks really good. I mean, this car looks, looks really nice. I like this car. Um, but I mean, it's missing paint in three spots. So Lionel, uh, uh, I don't know. All right, let, let's, let's do the honest part. If you're a person looking for, uh, this race wind die cast, does have the tall spoiler, which is accurate. Um, most of them, I hope, don't have paint defects like that. So as long as that's the case, it's a solid win. It's a solid race win for a Chase Elliott fan um, or somebody who kind of likes the special paint schemes. Outside of that, there's not a ton of race detail on it or anything crazy like that. Um, but it is nice that it's um, a different paint scheme. It's not just the standard Napa car. Um, as I said, this one's going to go back. I've got you know, three chipped paint spots and then the decal scra scrape there. So, um, I, I'm going to have to exchange. I'm usually not terribly picky. I mean, I say that, but, um, you know, I'll point things out, but I usually don't send them back. I'm very lenient about sending things back. This one, uh, I'm, I'm too proud of my chase collection, not to send this one back and get a different one. So, um, unfortunately I'll have to send this one back and wait till I can get one in, but, um, at least I was able to get the review out there for you. So let me know if you've had any issues with, uh, paint just literally not being on the hood or any other areas of the car um put it in the comments below if you've enjoyed please give it a thumbs up subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload uh tomorrow we will have another one of the days of dale and the brad keselowski coke 600 race win elite uh tomorrow so be sure to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss those videos other than that this has been race craze thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next diecast review